Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your love reading. It will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with every Capricorn as, as it's going to be a general message. So feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Um, before I begin, I just wanted to say that I send a lot of positivity, love, and light to you. I know that these are very uncertain times for a lot of us. So I'm sending really good energy your way. I hope this video finds you healthy and just at peace, hopefully. Um, so let's get right into it and see what we have for love. Goddess of the moon. So this is very similar to um, the high priestess. So following your intuition, listening to your inner voice. Let's see what else do we have for Capricorn? Some of you, your intuition is guiding you. I know that my intuition has been, I just have felt it so strongly lately. So round and round. Interesting. So this is about kind of like a, a constant revolving cycle. So some of you are probably using your intuition regarding a situation that you are in right now, where it feels like you are doing the same thing over and over or back where you started every time. So let's see what else we have for round and round. Um, spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break. Revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. So yeah, this your intuition is probably guiding you about doing the same thing over and over and not seeing any results or just feeling like you are in a, you know, a spiral in your relationship. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn, please, regarding love? What messages do you have for Capricorn, please, regarding love? Keep seeing the Two of Cups here as I shuffle, so. Any other messages for Capricorn, please, in regards to love? All right, let's see. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments and most of them are so positive. It just makes my day. So I'm very grateful. Thank you to everyone who has done that. Please consider liking or subscribing if you like my readings. And then whatever situation I talk about today, it could have already happened, be currently happening or happen in the near future because time is fluid. So just keep that in mind. So the recent past here, I have King of Swords, Six of Cups. I get, a, I get some comments that, you know, they're not interested in, the, people are not interested in their exes, and I totally feel you, um, but Six of Cups is the card for exes, so I can't help it when it comes out. However, this could also be a past life type of connection, so it doesn't have to be someone from your past. Um, it could just be someone that you've known in a past life, and that's why you feel such a strong bond with them. So we got the Hierophant, sign of Taurus here. Anything else for Capricorn, please? Okay. Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. The Hangman, I'm only gonna take the one that actually flipped over. And then what's for the near future here? What's coming up for the near future for Capricorn? Now, even though I'm saying past and future, I am looking at the spread as a whole. It's just a way to kind of simplify things. Seven of Wands, interesting. So protecting what's yours, defending your self regarding something here, standing up for something that you believe in. I am gonna clarify all of these. So what I'm seeing here is some sort of clarity or information, communication that you are either making or that's coming towards you. It could be someone from your past, um, or it could be just a connection, someone that you feel very connected to. I feel like there's commitment here or a possibility of commitment because I have the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. So um, you could already be in a committed relationship or that's what you desire or that's where this person who is interested in you, that's where they want this to go. However, I have the Hangman here. So someone's not moving. Someone's thinking a lot, but not moving. Someone could have also gotten clarity and they're thinking about that. Like their intuition has guided them here. 
And then we have the seven of wands. So again, someone standing up for something or having courage to defend themselves here. So let's see, let's clarify all these. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Capricorn, please. Help me clarify these messages for Capricorn, please. Let's start with this King of Swords. Ooh, Ace of Cups under the deck. Okay, let's start with this King of Swords. What can you tell me about this King of Swords, Spirit? Okay. Five of Swords. I'm not going to take these because they didn't flip over. But there's the High Priestess and the Six of Cups again. Tell me more about the King of Swords. So Five of Swords. Um, arguments, disagreements, fights. Some sort of loss here. Okay, so I have here the Page of Cups that flipped over. So this could be someone coming to you with an apology here of some sort with the Page of Cups regarding this situation. Someone also probably doesn't want to lose um, you or something like that and they want to open up, express how they feel. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. And I'm pointing it out. Anything else for this King of Swords, please? This is a small offer, though. So this is like, you know, hey, I need to tell you how I feel. Or I've had feelings for you for a long time. The Lovers, sign of Gemini here. So someone here possibly wants to communicate um, how they feel. With Five of Swords and Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, this person's thinking about possibly being rejected, worried about how you're gonna take this, not sure how you're going to respond. Could be someone from your past, doesn't have to be though. Let's see about the Six of Cups. Tell me more about the Six of Cups spirit. Four of Swords, okay. Resting, thinking here. Healing, Three of Wands, tell me more about this Six of Cups, please. I feel like someone's waiting for the right time here. Five of Cups, Strength. Someone's working up the courage here. There's someone here is re regretting something or sad about something um, regarding the past and someone else could be a Leo doesn't have to be, but someone's trying to work up the courage to approach someone else. Someone could have regrets about the past and they're kind of like wondering um, how to go towards this person in a way that they are going to be successful, right? Like they're not gonna be shut down right away like the Seven of Swords says here. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So again, could be an apology or an offer coming in. Tell me about the Hierophant. Wow, the Empress. So this could have, okay. Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups, Temperance. So this could have been some sort of long-term commitment here with the Empress and the Hierophant. Someone could want commitment, but that's what I see. Someone wants a love that will grow, that will last the test of time. Eight of Wands, communication here. Again, with the communication. And then I have Queen of Cups. So a lot of emotion here for someone. This person is nurturing, I feel, this Empress Queen of Cups energy. Um, if it's the same person, then um, I feel like this person had, like they view you in this manner. Someone very loving, nurturing, someone they can grow with here. And then I have temperance, sign of Sagittarius. Someone here wanting to find the right balance, rebalance their life possibly, or just find the right balance here to make this. Someone could also be patiently waiting as well to make this communication to approach their empress or queen of cups this could be two people with the empress and the queen of cups doesn't have to be 
Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, someone's thinking about healing a connection with the Temperance card there. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. So I have Four of Cups. Someone probably thinks they missed out on an opportunity here. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Looking back at the past, not feeling fulfilled, not feeling happy here. Someone could be in a partnership right now that, that hasn't grown, that hasn't gotten anywhere, or someone's just not, someone's worried about this not working out for them. And so since they're so worried that they're going to get rejected or that they're not, this isn't going to work out for them, they're, they're sitting around, you know, thinking and thinking and thinking rather than acting on anything. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles, please. Let's see if I can get one more card for the Ten of Pentacles. That one wanted to flip over. Queen of Wands. Yeah, someone wants to take action here. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be you wanting to take action. Or this is someone, I mean, they, they see you in this way. They see you as someone that they're very attracted to, someone they have chemistry with, passion for. There's that Knight of Cups again. Tell me about the hangman for Capricorn, please. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius because I keep thinking about Sagittarius. Have I said Sagittarius in this reading? For some reason, I... I saw this temperance card and that's all I can think about. Anyway, tell me about this hangman. What's the hangman about spirit? Capricorn. Oh my gosh. Eight of swords again here. Nine of wands. Three of swords. Wow. And then we have the four of wands. So this person is really in their head about this i mean almost to an excess this person is stuck in their head it's is there's they either caused heartbreak or they're heartbroken themselves about something and they can't let go of that like they they're just they put up walls around themselves um they're guarded they're in pain possibly um and i feel like it has to do with this four of wands i feel like this person probably fears that they've missed the boat on their four of wands or they're heartbroken about a connection that was at one point stable and happy so tell me about this seven of wands what's the seven of wands about Two of Pentacles, okay. Anything else for the Seven of Wands? You could have blocked this person at some point. Some of you are going to be weighing your options when this offer comes in or when this person communicates. Jesus. Can I please get it together? Seven of Cups. Yeah, some of you are going to be weighing your options, um, thinking about the possibilities here of whether to say yes, no, what to do about this. I don't think you guys are going to accept right away. And I feel like this person senses it. Tell me about the seven of wands. It could be that this is a relationship that you've already tried a few times for some of you and it hasn't worked out. And so now I feel like you're like, no, this we've done this so many other times and I'm not going to do it again. Others of you, I feel like you're, you've are you been in this pattern of choosing the wrong person for you and you want to break that pattern and you're listening to your intuition to guide you towards the right person. King of Wands just came out. So this person is going to be coming at you very passionately. There's a lot of attraction, like I said. This could be someone that you work with because the King of Wands, he's like an entrepreneur, like a natural leader, very um, charismatic. 
or it could just be somebody that possesses those traits someone that likes to take action there which is kind of weird because this person's not moving it's like they have a lot of passion but they're hesitating because they're so in their head about this again it could be a fire sign that you're dealing with doesn't have to be but you know someone here is going to be trying to decide if this is something they want to even do even though there's a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry and attraction here it's not going to be it's just one of the many things that you're evaluating with the seven of cups it's what i see so let's see if we can get some clarity on this round and round Tell me about this round and round card. Ten of Swords. Yeah, some of you, I feel like, are putting an end to something here that was not going anywhere. Anything else for round and round? Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Knight of Cups. Okay, so someone here, again, wants to apologize for possibly an ending here. And I feel like some of you are either going to say yes or no. Knight of Cups wanted to come out so many times. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups again. So this could be someone from your past coming around again. So let's see what other messages we can get. I'm going to use some of my Soul's Journey cards here. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Capricorn regarding this situation? Some of you are definitely dealing with a Sagittarius. I don't know why I feel the need to say that, but... Or they have Sagittarius in their chart somewhere. Any messages for Capricorn, please? Regarding this situation. Any other... Oh. Any other messages for Capricorn, please? Regarding this situation. Any other messages? Whoever this is, I, I feel like there's a lot of emotion here behind their actions or lack of actions. Their emotions are holding them back. Their regret is holding them back. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement and relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Someone I feel like probably was prideful in the past or let their pride or ego get in the way. They realize they have to change in order to have the relationships that they truly want here is what I'm seeing. Bottom of the deck, judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So this person, I feel like, has looked back at their actions, their past actions, and it's caused them to have a realization about what they need to change in order to have a new beginning for themselves. Um, possibly this person um, realized that they messed up here um, and they want to make things right possibly or you know they something here is, is holding this person back and I feel like it's fear more than anything there's fear here of being rejected fear of not having it work out fear is a main issue here so I feel like that's keeping this person from approaching you, Capricorn, or vice versa. And I feel like that has to change, you know. I feel like they're, they're fearful because probably of pride. They don't want to get rejected. But that has to change because they need to take a chance. So it's going to be up to them. I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this particular situation resonated with most of you. If it did, please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you. Um... Thank you again for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Please consider subscribing or liking this video if you enjoy my readings. And I hope to see you guys in another video. Take care.